Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing beauty hacks, tips and tricks. There's a lot of tips and tricks that I have learned um, over many, many years that are so super helpful to me and some that I don't even realize that really are tips and tricks just because they're so ingrained in what I do. I do find a lot of them so super helpful helpful some of them save time save money and saving money is obviously super important if you watch any of my videos you would have seen some of them just used throughout just because I'm so used to doing them that I do them all the time and I thought they were useful enough and I wanted to share them all with you guys before I get started I wanted to say please leave me a comment down below on what kind of video you would like to see next or if you would like me to film anything in particular because I really get inspired as I've always said and you guys helping me with um, inspiration and ideas for my videos is really helpful so if you could leave comments down below of what videos you would like to see or things that you struggle with or different hooded eye looks anything at all please let me know in the comments below because I definitely will be reading them and taking inspiration from those comments so let's just jump straight into it my first trick is actually um, one that I've used in many, many, many of my YouTube tutorials. If you've ever watched them before, you would know that using tape with your liner is so, so super important. I definitely recommend using tape just to get that clean, crisp, precise line if you don't think you've got a steady enough hand. So all you need to do is make sure you use a nice light tape. I normally use the Matte Finish Magic Scotch Tape and I normally um, touch the tape and sort of make it a little less tacky just so that it doesn't damage your eye area because the skin is very gentle and soft around there and then I just apply it going towards the end of my tail and from my eye and then I draw on and then as you can see when you pull it off it all looks perfect and clean and crisp. Next one of my all-time favorite tips and tricks for smaller or hooded eyes or even if you just want your eyes to look brighter and bigger is using white liner or nude liner um, on your waterline. This definitely opens up your eyes, makes them look bigger, brighter, bolder and really just freshens up your eye look if you're looking a bit tired and all you need to do is just apply it along your waterline and there you go. Next is probably one of the most random things but I did see this um, in my face Facebook feed and it is applying a pad or a panty liner and, and just applying that under your eyes. This is to stop fallout from your eyeshadow. It is amazing. It stops your um, eyeshadow from falling onto your skin. So you put this under your eyes. You can cut them in half. Sort of make sure they're not as tacky so that they don't damage your skin. Apply it under your eyes and then there you go. You're good to go and apply your eyeshadow. Next is actually a random trick that my mum taught me and is so super helpful, especially for you guys that are going into your fall and winter months and you notice that you're very staticky. I find that everything's sticking to your pants and I just can't deal with it. Oh my god drives me so freaking insane like I can't even deal so what you do is make sure that you moisturize you put your moisturizer on and then you make sure that you get your hairspray and spray it over the top of your moisturizer and it actually stops the clothes from sticking to you or at least it minimizes how badly staticky it is next is an oldie but a goodie and pretty obvious but it is so worth mentioning and it's using a q-tip to clean up your lines normally if you do your eyeshadow and it's not clean sharp lines or whether you do your eyeliner and it's not as perfect as you want it to be i just use a q-tip and normally i use makeup remover and then you just rub along you just sort of swipe along where you would like the sharp line to be and there you go perfect sharp lines next to achieve that matte lip look and you don't have matte lipstick no problems at all all you need to do is apply your lipstick then use toilet paper or tissue you press that onto your lips and then you can apply any kind of loose translucent powder with a small brush and dust it over your lips and then there you go magic matte lips next is a massive problem that i have had when it has to do with brows i have had a lot of people and seen a lot of people complain about the anastasia beverly hills dip brow drying out First world problems. What I do is I get a cotton pad and also some makeup remover. I put makeup remover on the cotton pad. I grab the brush, which is actually normally quite dry as well. I rub the brush on the cotton pad with the makeup remover and then I put it into the Anastasia Beverly Hills. It actually makes it liquefied a little bit more and much easier to apply. It takes away the dryness and there you go easy to apply eyebrows. When you want to do a little something on your eyes but you don't really want to apply eyeshadow or you don't have time at all 
and it's really a time factor thing. What I normally like to do is I grab my small contour brush, any kind of stiff rounded bigger brush is good. I always grab my bronzer, any kind of bronzer also works, press the contour brush into the bronzer and then apply it to my eyes. You can see it, grab, it gives you some shape and it really accentuates your eyes. It makes you look like you've got some eyeshadow on even though it literally just took you two seconds to do. For all my oily skin girls out there, I know how you feel. I always get a super oily t-zone and if you don't have any powder with you, it can kind of be an issue, especially during the day. You don't want to have a very shiny, shiny, super oily face. All you need to do is literally lightly dab the tissue or toilet paper on the t-zone or wherever you're oily and it instantly mattifies. Next is a bit of a random and a bit of a gross one but my boyfriend tells me all the time that I have really dry crispy feet. I know, ew, gross. So if you want to soften up those feet, all you need to do is get moisturizer. Make sure you moisturize them feet. I normally use the Vaseline Intensive Cocoa Glow Moisturizer and it is amazing. All I do is apply that on my feet and then I put a pair of socks on and this is normally great when you're going to bed at night time or if you're just chilling around the house. I normally go to bed with socks on and moisturize and wake up with my feet feeling nice, smooth and supple. Next, I know the struggle is real when your nail polish does not dry in time and then you smudge it. All you need to do is get your nails and dip them into a cold glass of water, hold them there for a few seconds or a few minutes if you really want to ensure that they're dry and then pull them out and voila, they're dry. Another tip and trick is if you're having mascara and it's looking a bit dry and it's on its last legs but you really need it to last that little bit longer, all you need to do is either add a few drops of makeup remover or even better if you have eye solution, add a few drops of the eye solution into the mascara and voila you've got a new refreshing mascara that you can use for a few more uses but of course just go and buy mascara if it's really that dry. Another tip that can never go astray is producing eye bags. All you need to do is put a few two cold spoons in the fridge and or freezer. Apply that over your eyes and also on your eye bags and it will reduce the puffiness of your eyes and also reduce your eye bags. And it's a perfect at home eye treatment. If you want to have amazing smelling hair, which is what I like to do a lot, if you have perfume you notice that it's scent, the scent stays really well in your hair and in even better than sometimes on your skin. So what I like to do is spray perfume. It doesn't need to be expensive perfume. It can be cheap perfume. Brush it through your hair. Don't spray a lot. Just mist it over your hairbrush and then brush it through your hair for nice, amazing smelling hair. Next tip I like to do all the time in my makeup tutorials is use a thick white liner to highlight under my brow bone. This is an instant brow bone highlight and especially if you want to do it super simple and easy without having to do too much effort. Another tip Another tip or trick that I have and use all the time in my videos, so if you've seen any of my videos, it's kind of obvious, but to make pigments stronger when you use eyeshadows, so all you need to do is grab a little bit of water, just a touch, or even mist over it with a setting spray, like the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray, and then put it in the eyeshadow, and as you can see, there is a massive difference compared to when you don't. Instead of if you can't afford or don't have setting spray and you really want your makeup to stay put all day, all you need to do is spray on your hairspray and just spray it all over your face as you would your setting spray. Make sure you have it far enough away from your face, approximately 30 centimeters. And last but very, very, very not least is the age old problem of when you get mascara on your eyelid and I have this problem all the time I don't know how I manage to keep doing it all the time it's just like a first world problem especially I always get it up here all you need to do is wait for it to dry go ahead do some other things leave it there but don't forget about it <laughs> and then all you need to do is grab a dry q-tip and then just slightly rub and it'll go away it disappears like magic and it may rub the tiniest bit of eyeshadow off but nothing worse than having to start all over again and redo all your makeup and here you go that's the end of the video I don't even know how many tips and tricks I ended up giving you I hope you guys really enjoyed that video and that you did actually find some helpful tips and tricks and things that you're gonna go and try out and things that hopefully will make your life easier just like they've made mine I'm sure you knew a lot of them already anyways as I mentioned at the start make sure you comment below what you would like to see next give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and make sure you subscribe if you want to see more from me that's it so i hope to see you guys very very soon bye